Hi. Melissa? That's low. Uh, look, um, some important stuff is happening this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, even though I think it's, is it Wednesday is the 25th? Wednesday is the 25th, I no. think. No, it's the Thursday. The 25th is on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Oh. And that's uh, about, I guess, uh, when uh, the Organization of African uh, Unity started in, like 60, in the Krumah, in like, like 63 or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's when they started Africa Day. Mm -hmm. And so, like, we're, I don't know, it's like, it's like 63, so it's like, what, 50-something years? Mm -hmm. So 63, so in, in two years, it's going to be the 60th anniversary. Mm -hmm. What that means is going to be huge then. I like it right now because we're going to build up to that. Yes. Now, when I say we're going to build up to that, I mean, here at the Lembo build, build, uh, Village, mm -hmm. you're going to have a huge celebration. This mm -hmm. is almost, almost like the Eastern Cape is invited yes. to the celebration. But yes. tell me how you got involved with that and how, mm -hmm. and how the village plays into that. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm a provincial coordinator for Sangofa. Sangofa is an organization that was um, established by mm -hmm. Mr. Mdichwa. Uh, it's all about the African religion, I mean origins, it's all about Africanism and socialism, right? We celebrate African belief, um, African spirituality, and, and we're not focusing on the way we celebrate our African spirituality in, the, in South Africa. We look at Africa as a continent. So on the 29th of May, uh, which will be on Saturday here in Buelembo Village. We'll be celebrating 54 African countries. Mm -hmm. We have invited um, African brothers to come and speak. They are in our program. They will bring their food, their art, their music. We will be dancing to African music. Mm -hmm. The theme is, you know, it's about um, unity. Africa unite, Africa dance, Africa celebrate whatever you, you have. Africa share your resources because we believe that we are, we are put by God in a rich continent. We have a lot to celebrate. Uh, we have a lot of resources to share together. You know, uh, as Africans, some countries are ahead of each other, even mm -hmm. in terms of you know, receiving it democracy. You know, some of us have just received democracy before us. So we have a lot to share together. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, our day will start with a walk from Steve Biko Grave. We know Steve Biko. Is w, w now, has this been done before? As far as it's walking? It's for the first time in the Eastern ah, Cape. okay, okay. Yes, we're doing it for the first time. Well, it's, it's starting to see people, it sounds interesting because Sankofa, of course, means to, to, to look back, to go forward. Exactly. So you're looking back to Steve Biko to go to go to forward. forward. Yeah, exactly. Well, let me stay with, stay with Sankofa. Sankofa, now, we, of course, you see, you hear my American accent. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've known Sankofa for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. This is what we... <laughs> Let me just let me just say this. I'm 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 laughing because of certain things, mm -hmm. but you know, um, uh, I was raised basically black nationalist. We want to I'm part of the what's called long time black arts movement, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But then out of that, you know, you have at the same time you have Pan Africanism yes. like that. Mm -hmm. Then we have people got very interested in studying about Egypt and and, and Africa in yes. general, and so that whole Sankofa idea came out of that whole Egyptology kind mm -hmm. of thing for us. You know, okay. that, so. Let me put it. That's the way I I know Sankofa All like right. that. Do you also have an organization called Sankofa? I, I no, I don't think Did so. Not, not not really. We just use the term. Oh, you yeah. see. So that's what I was trying to get back to say um, the person here in Africa. Mm -hmm. I'm not not talking about Kwame Nkrumah with the mm -hmm. with yes. the Africa Day, yes. but the whole Sankofa concept. You mm -hmm. say a, a person here. Who is this person again? Mr. Mutichu, my daughter. And then what what does he what's he noted for? I mean, how do we? Uh, uh, why did he start it? How, where is he from? Um, He's original from the Eastern Cape, mm, but mm. he started the Sangofa, I think, in Durban. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's a national organization. Mm -hmm. So we have the provincial committees and coordinators, mm -hmm. you know, that work together as as as, as a nation mm -hmm. in South Africa. So I think the motivation he got it from the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he got the whole concept, like you have explained it. Mm -hmm. I think he's motivated by the whole concept of Isangofa looking back in order to move forward. Mm 
Mm. And our emblem has got this bed, Sankofa bed. No, it's beautiful when I see the colors mm. and stuff mm. like that. Uh, but do you know about what, what, what when did he, when he started? About year? What, what, about what time? I think it's two years back. Years, okay, okay, no. Two years back. I understand, I understand. Mm. Okay, so, um, so he's really moved very quickly. You've moved very quickly mm. on this because, mm. like I said, in about two years, it's going to be a huge thing, mm -hmm. this whole concept. Mm. But this whole, what intrigued me really it was this whole, you can say Sankof, it becomes an, an, an idea or even an, an ideology, but to actually have to do something, to mm. go back mm. to the grave mm. and then mm. come forward, exactly. it, sounds, it sounds like the perfect, per mm. perfect thing. Mm. Who thought, when you say, who thought of all this? Who's putting it together? I mean, he, he's still around, so is he, he's, he's still... He's around. He's mm -hmm. staying in, in Mambonwin, here in the Eastern Cape. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a steering committee that mm -hmm. is organizing this event. There's about eight of us. Mm -hmm. We live in the Eastern Cape. Some of us are in East London, mm -hmm. Port Elizabeth. Uh, some of them are in Bloemfontein, but they are original from the Eastern Cape. Mm -hmm. So... Uh -huh. so do, do, no, so this is just Eastern Cape, or is it all of South Africa, or is it, or or, or is it goes beyond Southern Africa and static nations? Is I mean, is it? What's the idea? It's happening in the Eastern Cape, mm -hmm. uh, but organized by the National Committee, mm -hmm. which is people from other provinces as well. All of, all over South Africa, just or uh, or in the, in the, say the the sub-Saharan nations. Sub-Saharan, I would say, like mm. in the Eastern Cape, people who were born here in the Eastern Cape, uh, there's the, there's one in Bloemfontein and one in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Others are in the Eastern Cape. You know, they reside here in the Eastern Cape. It's for the entire South Africa, of course. Uh, the entire African uh, continent. Well, let me go back back to the whole structure. Like I said, the Steve Biko thing was really interesting to me. But, uh, you know, in, in Africa, especially, uh, Muta I just saw Muta Baruka do this thing about this whole, mm. Africa has been taken over by Christianity, exactly. and you have a lot of politics. So in, the, in your program, is because uh, you said you have a spiritual realm or whatever have you, mm. Are these things playing into this politics or religion playing into this or, or how is this structured? How is this no, it's purely African spirituality. Mm. This event is not going to be opened by prayer, Christian prayer. Of course, we're going to open it uh, in our own way, in our mm. own African way, burning off incense in bed. You mm. know, that's how we're going to open it. Uh, it's not Christian politics and all the other religions. So, so, uh, would, so the ministers are not coming. What's, what's happening? Well, don't they, they get come it? as a public, ah. but they're not going to take part. They're not going to partake in the program. Oh, you know, okay, so okay. We are not Christians. We mm. we say no to Christianity because we believe that Christianity is the one that you know took us to this mess. The mess that we're in, we are in in today is because of a Christianity. Missionaries came here and and wanted to pray for us, saying that our cows and our land belong to God, mm. while they knew that they are the God they are preaching about. Mm. Because at the end of the day, now the land belongs to them. These cows that they said they belong to God belong to them. Mm. You know, they they played God to us. Mm. Uh, and in our minds, we thought God is in heaven, all to find out God is them. So, we, d we don't want anything uh, to do with Christianity. Now, basically. throughout history, there's always been this thing of uh, uh, basic culture is, is, is more important than almost like war was, not, well, you know, war or, or anything like that. So uh, uh, how does this, let me put it this way, the, uh, if this came out, or African Day came out of the uh, Organization of African Unity mm -hmm. back in 63, that's a political thing. Now we put Africa Day, Africa Day become more cultural as we go along, right? So is it more, uh, and, and you've just indicated, this is not political, this is not going to be religious, mm. this is pure African-centric, if we want to put it that way. So do you see that as, as, uh, as an evolution from, from, from coming out of OAU, or how does this work in your head? I mean, I mean, do you think you're really going to, is the culture finally going to take over and, and, and reclaim? What's going to, what, what do you Well, think? to me personally, it's more like a revolution. I mean, we, we're moving away from the colonial uh, system, the systems that um, enslaved us. We are untying ourselves. We are setting ourselves 
free mentally and otherwise. So we were beginning to celebrate who we are. We are beginning to realize that our identity has been has been messed up by colonialism. You know, we are trying to mend the broken pieces of our identity. Hence, we want things that are us, purely us. We don't want anything that has to do with colonial. Anything that was brought to us by colonialists, we don't want anything to do with that. Hence, we are walking from the grave. We won't take any any car. We won't be driven to the grave. Uh, from the grave to BLM, we'll be walking. What exactly? What our forefathers forefathers used to do, walking, do things traditionally. You know, even the food that we'll be eating here, uh, we'll we'll be cooking using these black big pots. You know, in remembrance of how we used to do our thing. We go back to our roots, by all means. Now, there's this whole thing with the the, the whole that that conference in Berlin. Whenever that conference was back in the 18, whoever, whoever where they carved up Africa like that. And it's interesting because people always say, at least we always say, well, Africa is, is not, a, it's a continent. It's not a, a state. It's not a country like that. But it's interesting to me. I was always, I always thought of it like, really? Well, maybe it should be, a, maybe it should be a, not a state, but maybe Africa is Africa. Yeah. And these, and these countries, that were, these artificial countries that, that were, I guess, carved up, it's almost like they could be individual nations, mm. but still Africa is still one entity. Exactly. Now, of course, it's the, the unifying thing with entity usually is language. Mm. Uh, in, in the United States, people understand, for instance, I'll talk about the United States because I know about them. Mm. The, 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 what binds them is not actually even la language, yeah, maybe. Mm. What really binds it is the money, is the currency. <laughs> <laughs> really, you, 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 they don't care in the United yeah. States. You can almost say that about, well, Brazil is a country. But, mm. but, but, but you understand the whole state is 50... Basically, the United States is 50 states. Mm -hmm. Africa is, is 55 countries, 55 mm -hmm. nation states. Mm -hmm. But we can look at it as one kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. And are we moving Africa towards that? Africa doesn't have borders. Question. We do not have anything that separates us. Africa is one, is one continent. You know, we were divided by the enemy, I would say. Well, I would be negligent, as, as again, from, some, from the diaspora. And I know that uh, the African Union, which is the, which is uh, came out of the uh, African, uh, uh, the uh, OAU, is now the African Union, and they are talking about perhaps uh, the diasporic people would have some sort of visa or something like that, that that they can move all around Africa. But then Africa has to be able to move all around Africa, and of course they'll do it on a business thing. For have you known about that, or, 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 or are we talking about that in this cultural movement, or what's what's, what's happening with with the diaspora? Let's put it that way. We're talking about a lot of things, you know, we're talking about the language that will be able to unify us. I mean, we're talking about going back to the spiritually significant places like the, the mountains of Drakensberg, where our forefathers landed before they dispersed to different uh, uh, provinces within South Africa. We're talking about Nine River, where our forefathers moved from Ambo, from the middle east you know middle east africa down to, to to the south you know we want we want to take that route back to our origins we we know that we didn't just we we didn't just you know we we came from somewhere that's 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 the route that we want to take back to where our forefathers came from. Hence, we are saying Africa do not have uh, uh, borders. We do not have borders. Uh, of course, um, the, the African Union might say we are 55 countries, but when we look at Africa as the continent, we see one continent without borders. Mm -hmm. Well, do, let me put it, let me, let me do it another way, because it sounds, I, I lived in Cape Town for quite a while, like 10 years, something like that. And, you know, we know Joburg. And it seems like all of the innovation, especially in Cape Town, I can't speak a lot for Joburg, or even it's not, Durban sort of kind of weirdly different. Mm. But it seems like all the people come from the Eastern Cape. Now, this starting in the Eastern Cape, even in this area that's close enough, you know, to Ginsburg to, to where which, mm. Steve, Steve goes, is it seems like, wow, this is kind of interesting. If this is the birthplace of this new, mm. I don't want to say movement, but this, mm. this sensibility, mm. right? How, how do you how do you see that? I mean, is it because the 
What, what is it with the Eastern Cape? Let's put it that way. What is it with the Eastern Cape that all the talent, all everything comes from them? They, they go to the cities and migrate, then they sort of blend in or not blend in, but then they always have to come and be rejuvenated by the Eastern Cape. How does that work? Because, you know, every year... You know, Eastern Cape has been used as their hub for everything, for slaves, for laborers, for, you know, hence you see it like a little bit of, a little bit backward, you know, in terms of e new developments, new technology and everything. We are rural, we are a rural province. Uh, well, but Eastern Cape is the, or that's where everything started, mm. you know, wars for 10, for how many years? Mm. 10 wars within 400 years. Mm -hmm. They took place here in the Eastern Cape, you know, a lot took place here in the Eastern Cape. So Eastern Cape is the source of everything, is the source of our origins, like as, as, as Africans, but you know, to be specific. So yes, that's, you know, the spirits are moving in here because the blood of our forefathers, you know, was shed in these mountains, you know, in these rivers. They were buried in these hills, you know. So they, they, their spirits are moving in the Eastern Cape, mm -hmm. you know. So we move from the Eastern Cape to the urban areas looking for a job, of course. But I think uh, by the time Uteba was set up, it was we were forcefully, you know, removed from this province to go and work in these urban areas. But... Mm -hmm. Our origins are here in the Eastern Cape. We were born here. So I guess the, the, I guess what I'm actually su suggesting is that this movement, or this, I'm sorry, this sensibility, I'd rather call it, I don't like this movement thing because mm. they always be, they always corrupted because there's a head that gets, yes. you know, yeah. corrupted money, whatever it is, whatever it is mm. whatever, however they destroy it. Mm. Um, this sensibility, um, do you see it? I guess, I guess what I'm saying, do you see as a as 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 a successful way because they they've tried a whole lot of other stuff, but it doesn't seem to work. I mean, you know, pe people some people don't even stop by the Eastern Cape. I mean, it's, somebody says I've been to South Africa. Oh, where you been? Well, I was in Joburg. That was in Cape, well, I was in Cape Town. That was in Joburg. They fly. I mean, I was so mad at at, at 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 Floyd Mayweather when he came. He he doesn't understand. So whoever was talking to him, he goes from Joburg, flies over the Eastern Cape to, 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 to Cape Town, says, yeah, I've been to South Africa, not knowing that the Eastern Cape is the hub of boxing. How could you be a boxer and not know that and not stop by the Eastern Cape? I'm not ranking on, you know, Money Mayweather, whatever it is. I'm just saying, do you find that, that people want to come to the Eastern Cape anymore? Well, what, 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 how does that work? I mean, yes, people want to come back to the Eastern Cape, but I think they are, you know, they are... What is this term? They are blocked by e -E lack of development in mm -hmm. the Eastern Cape. When they come here, there are no jobs. People are not working. Uh, you know, a lot is a bit slow and a bit dull until you are a woke person. Therefore, you will start making things work. You know, they are prevented by the lack of a development in this otherwise they do want to come back home okay well let's just hope this 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 sensibility i mean uh, i i'm not going to put any dates but i put there i'd say i'll predict i have no i have no thing like that but i predict that in within two years this thing that you started that was started two years ago mm -hmm. you know Will will really take off. People will start coming coming in just for this celebration, three or four day celebration. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you this because I know um, I know because I'm involved, but we're going to be here. What we want to do is like uh, the celebration is on a Saturday. Yes, but, but Friday. We're, we're, Friday night we're gonna have a, a whole yes. a fire and drum circle. Yes. I'm bringing down my talking drummer out Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I got my, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it down. I'm gonna be in a park. Hey. So, 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 so I'm just. I, I guess what I'm what I'm what I'm suggesting is that uh, it's quite unique to have two days or maybe even three days. Mm -hmm. How are you going to accommodate everybody? I mean, or uh, people who bring their tents, or what do they do? They yes. hang hammocks. But <laughs> how do they do this? People can bring uh, their tents, you know, uh, if they want to sleep. Otherwise, we believe that we're not going to sleep the entire night. We stay awake, awake uh, eating drums, eating, you know, talking around fire, mm. which is if fire is a, is a spiritual element in a significance. You know, whatever we talk around fire, it comes to pass. You know, so it's more like. We are praying, you know. So we have this shelter here for people who wants to go and take a nap, 
mm-hmm. for two or three hours and wake up again, go back to the fire. Oh, until I the understand. Next, you know. Oh, okay. So there's this rendezvous. There are two rendezvous for males and females. Mm-hmm. We put mattresses for those who want to get asleep for an mm-hmm. hour or so mm-hmm. and go back to to the fire, mm-hmm. you know, when they feel... Okay, wait. I'm not going to be in a rendezvous. My my wife is coming with me. Hey, we're not going to be separate. Mm. Uh, there, can we pitch tents? I mean, is it going to be a? a, a, a can, can we? You mean on Friday? Yeah, on Friday. Can we? Can, yeah, can we pitch pitch a, a, a tents or something like that? You know, yes, we can. If, if there is a space. Those who we'll, do have tents, we have enough space there. Oh, okay, yes, okay, okay, okay. But in the morning, there will be a stretch tent to accommodate uh, children and. Um, oh, okay. And some disaster management uh, team mm-hmm. like police, first aid uh, mm-hmm. people, and the traffic controllers, yeah. traffic officers. Okay, well, listen, this is just the first. We're going to talk a lot mm-hmm. <laughs> because there's other things that you do. I'm not going to let the cat out the bag. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. You wrote a fantastic book uh, in Tulsa. In, 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 you wrote this book that's making a lot of, mm-hmm. of, of, of noise. We'll mm-hmm. talk about it another time. Mm-hmm. And I do want to take a, 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 a a tour around the place, but I think I want to wait until perhaps um, early on Friday mm-hmm. when things just start happening. So maybe right. two or three more times we want to um, want to have a little conversation if we can. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So 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 keep so some. Much. All right. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you so much All for right. the opportunity. All right. Now you take care.